Will a sewing needle slide down the full length of a properly sharpened crosscut handsaw? A couple of days ago, while traveling with work, I had the good fortune of being able to spend an afternoon and an evening with uh, one of my best friends, a man who spent a good handful of time in the trades as a young man and whose craftsmanship I still hold in very, very high regard. Well, that's cute and sappy and whatnot. What's that got to do with saws and self-sufficiency on YouTube. While we were visiting, I was crowing about this saw that I had restored and, and recut the teeth on, changed it from a rip saw to a crosscut pattern. And my good friend said to me, you know, the old timers used to say, if it's sharpened properly, you can slide a needle down the teeth of it. What do you mean slide a needle down the teeth of it? Once we talked about it a little bit, it became obvious that if it's done right, that a needle should slide right down between the alternating teeth of a crosscut saw. As luck would have it, tonight when I walked into my shop to work on some other stuff, one of the things on my workbench as I was cleaning it up was a spool of thread with a needle in it. Now I have no claim to fame as being a saw sharpener per se. I mean, it's something that I view to be pretty valuable, so consequently I've studied it a bit and practiced it some. But in truth, I think that I've only sharpened inside of a dozen saws, only two of them being crosscut. One that was a crosscut to start with, and then this one that, uh, that I changed the teeth on to a, uh, to a crosscut from a rip saw because I had so many rip saws, and this one was just kind of an extra. But as I look at it, I don't know, it seems like it might work. Put it in my vise, give it a bit of an angle bit of a hill for a needle to go down. Got a shot. First off, you can sit between these teeth. There we go. That is even slide. <laughs> Look at that. Well, at the risk of sounding like a wannabe Mythbuster, I'm gonna go ahead and call this one confirmed. I don't know that I felt like I had sharpened it absolutely perfectly, but I suppose if this is the test, then the results speak for themselves. Thanks for that tip, mister. I sure appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, and you're not subscribed to this channel yet, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and click the button, subscribe. You'll see more stuff like this sooner than later. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.